To me, the bonzos were everything. The bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, is really quite powerful. It's a, you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking. I'm the, I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I can fly. I'm Rodney Slater, and I hope you're going to enjoy the bonzos at Coco. There's a farm called Misery, but of that we'll have none, because I know of one, there's always lots of fun. Ha, ha. This one's name is Jollity, believe me folks it's great, because everything sings out to you as you go through the gate. All the little pigs they grunt and howl, the cats meow and the dogs bow wow, everybody make a row after Bernard Dudley Boy and all. The Bonzos started off by playing these silly old 78s we used to find in marketplaces. People still remember, but Bob Kerr was the trumpeter in those days when uh, we were happily going out and doing these things, exploding grandfathers' clocks and holding up signs and whatever. Everybody make a row down on Jollity Farm. All the little birds go tweet, tweet, tweet. The lambs all bleed. And they shake their feet. Everything. Well, I played on the original recording of that, the Bonzos, in the studio, um, and I've always liked it. Yeah. Hot begins to grow, and the old buck rabbit sings. Give it up your jumper, I don't want to know. All the little ducks go quack, quack, quack. The cow goes moo, and the bull does too. Everybody, how do you do? Down on Jollity Farm. Thank you very much. Jollity Farm, of course. It was me all the time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. He's here in the building right now. Here he is, Mr. Wonderful. Brings his own character on stage, and people love that character. Hi there. Camp. <laughs> uh, Larry is Larry's a one-off. I mean, he's the same off stage as he is on stage. He's just himself. I don't think he's ever been anything else but just himself. That's what he is. That's what he does. And he was part of the crazy gang that 
you know, got together doing these things. It's a real pleasure being back in the country, and I love you, wonderful listeners. Thank you. Oh. I remember the song I sang it quite a while ago. Now. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. The loveliness of Paris. Thank you so much. Hi, Frank Heiss. Seems somehow sadly gay. <laughs> the, the glory that was Rome, that's Italian for Rome, is of another day. I've been turbulent and forgotten. In Manhattan, nobody loved me. I'm going back, yes I am, to my city by the bay. The stuff we were taking from the 20s and the 30s was the silly stuff. Um, and remember, that was, the, you know, 29 was the Wall Street crash. Uh, you know, but the people, wonderful people, still managed to have a sense of humor and come up with silly songs. Hunting tigers out in India, out in, out in, out in India. Yeah. Well, I think you saw the evolution of the Bonzo Dog Band. I mean, it did start with the um, mayhem and chaos, and... Um, grew to something else. They make an awful fuss. There's no point stroking them and saying puss, puss, puss. Out in time, just out in India. Out in, out in, out in India. Sam has made a wonderful art out of incompetence. Yeah. <laughs> no one else can do that. He's wonderful. The Spoon solo was, you know, what attracted him to us and us to him. So I'd seen Spoon's players before, but not like that. You know, not the athletic performance that Sam gives. It's the fun, it's the, it's the fun thing, I think. That's what live shows should be about. He's underdeveloped. It's quite unique. I mean, every time he plays it, he gets a huge round of applause. It's so different. And it's a clever technique to play the saw, to be honest with you. It's not a simple thing to do. And he also plays the saw with my saw player, right. the Professor. They play two saws together. We call them uh, Mad Men Two Saws. <laughs> Men cluster to me like moths about the flame. But I'm a rabid puffer. I'm really not to blame. For leak in love again, never wanted to. What am I to do? I can't tell him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this next number wouldn't have been written if I hadn't been foolish enough in 1968 to walk into Harrods and buy a parrot. We're just waiting for an introduction, yes. Yeah. I say, how did you find yourself today? Well, I just rolled back the sheets and there I was. When Mr. Slater's parrot says hello, our geezer likes to get one on the go. We love to hear him swear, we love to hear him squeak. We love to see him dip his fingers in his horny beak. Sometimes he likes to whistle through his nose while picking up a peanut with his toes. 
If Johnny Morris had him on his show, you'd hear the Fuhrer's favourite scream hello! Now I've handed it over to him, but I thought he made a wonderful contraption to do it with. based on Rodney's parrot that he bought Harrods. It's the audience joining in, it's the audience feeling part of the show. I think that's the thing that the Bonzo's managed to do. To me, the bonzos were everything. The bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, is really quite powerful. It's a, you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking. I'm the, I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I can fly. Hello folks, welcome to the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band Show at Coco's. of the dog band were hard rock really or trying to be hard rock and trying to be what was going on but still putting our message in we changed from you know doing these silly old songs which were our way of not wanting to do what was going on at the moment and then we learned to you know compose our own songs if you take his courses he'll make you big and rough circusy elements that we had going on. I'm standing on the stage, watching what's going on around me and going, I feel like I'm, I'm part of Monty Python's Flying Circus. It was chaotic. I thought it was uh, bananas and in the true Bonzo tradition of mayhem. I mean, it was never ever going to be anything other than that. You'll make you big and run. And you can kick sand right back in their faces. Yeah, 
Viv was an Olympic smoker and drinker, and so, you know, that um, enabled his voice to be rich and fruity. But uh, I had a good stab at it. Yes, just give me 10 years of your life, and I'll trade in that girl's lab for a living muscle. A physique you deserve. Strong. Punchy shoulders to hold your shirt up. Five years ago, I, yes, I, was a four stone apology. Today, I am. No tiresome exercises, no tricks, no unpleasant bending. Wrestle poodles and win. Play beach ball, shave your legs. mixture there of the, the original jazz influence bonzos and then the later rock bonzos if you like the Canesham album and let's make up and be friendly so you had that whole mixture there which is what the bonzos are they're a mixture of both those brands I like Ancient because when we made that, it, it wasn't thought out before, it just evolved. It was more spontaneous between me and Neil most of it. I mean, a few things we put on half his. <laughs> is actually um, one of the top 40 tunes of 40 years. It got an Ivan Novello Award. The Ivan Novello Award is like a Degar. It's a little bronze thing, like a Degar with a wet nappy. And I used mine for a doorstop. And when, you know, I was friends with George Harrison, and he's got one. And uh, he was using this for exactly the same thing. <laughs> but it's lovely they had a 40 years of you know, best songs. and. To be in there with a couple of Lennon McCartneys and a George is, is, is all right. And I think people got it, you know, for what the song was about. It's, I think it's a, a little bit, you know, still relevant today. I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I can fly.
had a great night at Coco. Yeah, it was a very very special night. I didn't think, didn't see how it could come together, but it did. Thank you. Well, everybody, thank you so much for coming this evening. It's been so wonderful to just be up here boozing for your entertainment. I'd like to uh, introduce these wonderful people we have with us this evening. First of all, we have the Robots on Rhythm section. Hey, give it up. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Introducing Neil Ennis on piano. Guys, 50 years and still standing. The Bonzo of Dog Do Dog Band. <laughs> Give it up, fellas. Oh, yeah. Check out the exam. Shit. The King Sham Town Band. Just for that very perverse. I've been Michael Lindsley. And you've been wonderful. Good To me, the bonzos were everything. The bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, is really quite powerful. It's, you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking.